Well, as you know now, the Olympics are upon us from Beijing, and you've probably watched a good deal of coverage. You probably also know that American swimmer Michael Phelps has picked up now his third gold medal as of the production of this video. But that's not really what the rest of the swimming world is buzzing about right now. What the world is buzzing about, particularly in Europe, is the ongoing soap opera of Laurie Manadou. Now you're probably saying in America, well, who's that? Laurie Manadou is a French female swimmer who just a few years ago, just two, took the world by storm. It is now credited with six world records, including setting the record last year for women in the 200 meter women's freestyle. But Laura Manadou is also known as a swimmer who had the world on a string and was dating a Italian swimmer by the name of Luca Martin and wanted to, as she said, have babies with him. So in the process of falling in love with this person, ditched her association with the French swimming team, joined the Italian swim team, took up an Italian coach, and decided that she was going to reside in Italy and basically join an eventual holy matrimony with Luca Martin. But a problem happened. And whatever the details of that problem, I think perhaps infidelity, the engagement ring that Luca Martin gave Laura Matadu, she tossed famously into the water publicly last year. Just one month after that incident, nude photos of Laura Matadu were all over the internet, sparking a huge controversy and much embarrassment for her. Meanwhile, Luca Martin, for his part, said he had nothing to do with the incident and he's seen these pictures before. Hmm. Meanwhile, Luca Martin takes up with a new swimming girlfriend, Federica Pellegrini. Beautiful, attractive, athletic, not quite as successful as Laura Matadu, but known for having publicly available and seen nude photos presented in an Italian men's magazine called, interestingly, Fox. Fast forward to Beijing and the anticipated performance of Laurie Matadu. Will she bounce back? What will happen? Well, on Sunday, she started off the women's 400 meter freestyle quite well and then dramatically fell back to last place. And in tears, explained that her family was behind her and that she would prevail eventually. During that event, Federico Pellegrini turned her back on Lori Manadu openly and publicly. And then to add insult to injury, the very next day, Pellegrini broke Manadu's record in the 200 meter women's freestyle. So now Pellegrini has Lori Manadu's ex-boyfriend, her world record, and Manadu's ex-coach, leaving Manadu with the position of having to face Pellegrini in the finals tomorrow with her only chance of winning. Now you might ask, so what? Why am I interested in this? I'll tell you why. Because in Europe, swimmers are treated like royalty, particularly female swimmers. Here, male swimmers are treated like royalty, but female swimmers don't get the accolades or the attention or the paparazzi following them around. I don't understand why that is. But in Europe, it's much more fascinating and I think appropriate. Not only that, it, I have to admit, a certain, I, I love popular culture and I'm becoming increasingly interested in world popular culture and this is fun. But it's also a reflection on the differences between how Europeans think about what athletes do and how Americans think about what athletes do, particularly female athletes. I think that female athletes in America still don't get the attention they deserve in a lot of areas, but I'm not here to get really onto that. 
my point is basically that I'm rooting for Lori Matador to come back. This is her last chance. She can come and stick it to Federico Pellegrini just by winning. Her victory in the finals will erase all the crap that she's gone through and put her back on top where she belongs. And not only that, if that happens, it won't be Nicolas Sarkozy kissing her.